New shooter coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by B&H and Atomos. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at NAB 2023. I'm back at the Tilter booth. Now, this is your gravity remote head. This is quite a sort of an innovative product. Tell me all about it. Yeah, so this is still a prototype, uh, but the idea is that we are expanding our Ronin control to work with other devices, um, such as a remote head. So this is the controller for the Nano 2, which can control Ronin and also is able to control this. So we're going to have a few different sizes, a few different options for uh, you know what you're able to mount to here. But the basic idea is that this is a stand in which would connect between your light unit and the stand that the light is mounted to. And it's going to power off of V-mount or bolt mount and allow you to remotely adjust the tilt and pan of the light. Meaning if you have it 20 feet in the air, you're able to make small adjustments without needing to stem the light down, make a change, put it up, see if it, if it was corrected. Uh, this hand unit can control up to 12 of these at the same time. And it runs for a, a very decent amount of time, as we've discovered. We don't have the exact operating time, but we have been running this all day and barely using a, a couple percentage of uh, batteries. So I guess the challenge with something like this is making, you know, having to make multiple versions or come up with solutions for, for different lights, because that's that's obviously going to be tricky. That is correct. So for right now, the, this, this prototype is just for the orbiter. Um, but like I said, we are going to have a few different sizes, ranging from about 6 kilograms to 30 kilograms. So uh, with the, the idea is that we're going to be bringing this technology to you know the types of people who uh, are maybe on smaller budgets who maybe could benefit more from being able to adjust their lighting more quickly um, and we're also going to be opening up the the kind of like effects that you can do in terms of being able to follow you know a subject with the light and different things that are normally seen on higher end uh, units but then we're also going to be accommodating the bigger lights that uh, possibly have more of a need for this kind of uh, remote workflow um, so the idea is to you know specialize for for a few different lights but I imagine we'll see a couple of universal mounting options for kind of lights in between. It's interesting to, to note here too that this controller is it's pretty versatile because you've integrated into an entire ecosystem here where you can use it to control multiple products so that sort of adds to its versatility. Yes, yes, that is correct. So as with the Nano 2 and the different, you know, wireless lens control systems it's compatible with, our, uh, our Ronin series controllers are expanding and we're going to be coming up with more and more different control options for not just gimbals, but for other, you know, uh, re remote, uh, you know, accessories that just, you know, make filmmakers' lives easier.